Aye, sir. That's it. I can't see a trace of the damage now. It wasn't your fault. Excuse me? We were ambushed. There was no way you could know there was a ship in that nebula. It doesn't matter. I should have known. I should have sensed it. We lost a lot of good people that day. I know, sir. The news of Chamberlain made it all the worse. You know, mischief the two of you perpetrated at the academy. This legendary. You know what I think you really need is someone who I can stay you would stop trying to play ship's counselor. That's what we have Tamaro for. All right. It just seems that the only thing you've ever loved was your job. It's just not healthy. Being committed, being grounded, it's all overrated. I put my heart and my soul into my ship. That's love enough for me. Ah, oh, but Sam, the ship can't love you back. I don't know. That's debatable. Captain's Log, Stardate 5121.2. It has been 19 months since the Dominion limped into space dock for repairs. The Cromwell Nebula incident was ruled to be no fault of my own, and I have been pronounced physically mentally and emotionally fit to return to duty. However, I've been unable to forgive myself for the loss of 17 crew members, some who were very close friends. The ship systems are undergoing last minute calibrations and we are scheduled to launch in 15 hours. You look trouble, Commander. What's the problem? I sir, it's the aft torpedo launcher. When fired from the bridge, there's a delay. Could be faulty wiring, could be a software glitch. Either way, I suggest we postpone the launch. What kind of a delay are we talking about? A few weeks should suffice. No, I meant the firing mechanism. Ah, just under a second. Just under a second. We'll launch on time, Commander. Just run a thorough diagnostic on that system and put a thorough report on my desk by zero hour tomorrow. All right, sir. You'll have it. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Well, excuse me, Commander. Well, you've had a few days to get acquainted with this ship. What do you think of her as our new XO? Well, she's the finest ship in her class, sir. I'm honored to be here. You just can't imagine. You'd be surprised what I can imagine. Besides, you've earned it. Lexington's loss is the Dominion's game. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just make me look good or you'll find yourself drifting home on a slow freighter. I won't let you down, sir. Slow freighter. Break. I'm home. How's it going, Chief? Just finishing up, sir. I think you'll find it meets your specifications. Excellent. May I? I wouldn't dare try to stop him, sir. Captain's Log Supplemental While the Starfleet investigation played out, I speculated how this moment would feel. And now that it's here, it feels like I've returned home. For over five years as her captain, the Dominion was my home, her crew were my comrades, my family, and my friends. 
When all that was stripped away, I was alone. I lived day to day with only the hope of returning to my command to sustain me. Now as I watch the final preparations for launch, I am more resolved than ever. I must find a way to get past my lingering feelings of guilt. I must get past my doubts and be the leader this crew deserves. For their sake and for my own. I am humbled by the loyalty of this crew, both new and returning. If they doubt me, they show no signs of it. I'm all finished here, Commodore. Do you need anything else before I leave? Just the keys, thank you. Sir? Never mind, Chief. I have everything I need right here. Hi, sir. Captain's Log, Stardate 4812.9. The inhabitants of Nimbus 12 welcomed our landing party with a grand parade as a thousand beautiful women did an elaborate dance. We were instructed to disrobe. Enter. Surprise. Why can't you just enter a room like a normal person? What would be the fun in that? And I suppose this is your doing? Just something to commemorate a special occasion. Go ahead, open it. And the special occasion would be, Commodore, you cut me to the quick. Why, it was three years ago today I signed on as your XO. It's a real. It's beautiful. You didn't have to do this. Be that as it may, sir, you've become like the brother I never had over the past few years. My father gave that to me when I graduated from the academy. I never learned how to play it. Then I remembered your rule was stolen when you were on Rigel 6. I told you not to go into that club. I said it was in a rough part of town, but would you listen to me? And no, you lost your precious rill. Well, it just seemed like the right thing to do to give it to you. I'm sorry, Don. Uh, I didn't get you anything. You've given me more than you'll ever know, sir. Godspeed, Don. Thirty seconds. Sir.
need to shave a few seconds off. Aye, sir. Excuse me? You heard me, sir. You better stand down, mister. No, you stand down, sir. We all here know what you did. They were our friends, and you got them all killed. Anders, escort Brasso and Piper to their quarters. Oh, I don't think so, Commodore. I mean, after all, you have a point. You are going to get us all killed. <laughs> In fact, why don't I do us all a favor? and in your little reign of incompetence now, before more lives are lost. Tamara, do something. That would be illogical, Commodore. You killed my father. Who's next? Me? Why not? Here I am, Commodore. Go ahead. Get me killed, too. I was absolved! I'm not at fault! Oh, well, that changes everything. That makes it just fine. Security! You need sedative, Commodore, and some rest. Maybe then you won't get anyone else killed. Commodore, incoming message from Starfleet. You've been relieved of your duties effective immediately. Setting coordinates for certain death, sir. Warp one. Warp three. Warp five. Warp seven. Warp nine. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming. I have to save you, sir. Looks like we're finally gonna get some kill. Don? Is that you, Don? How can it be you? Hello, Sam. It is you, Don. Don, I am so sorry. I don't have a lot of time. I only came to tell you there was nothing you could do. None of us blame you. I wish I could make it all up to all of you. Just carry on, Commodore, and make us proud. I'll do my best. But Don, why all this? Why could you just come to me in a peaceful dream? You know me. What would be the fun in that? Goodbye, Sam. Tell my wife I love her. Oh, and Sam? Yes? Godspeed to you, too. Three minutes, 42 seconds. That's a red alert. That's not bad for a night drill, but... I have something to say to all of you. Ever since Cromwell Nebula, I asked myself if there was anything I could have done differently to minimize the danger and loss of life. I reminded myself that exploration is dangerous. When our ancestors went out to explore the other side of the mountain, some of them didn't come back. But that didn't stop them. Now, we had billions of miles. Some of us don't come back. We venture and explore because it's in our makeup. Our fallen friends knew these risks and accepted them. So, let's go take a look. Shall we? We're with you, Commodore. All the way to hell and back. I know that you have our backs, Commander. I think I speak for us all when I say we're a little anxious to get in the plane. 
very well. Commander Denson, this is Dominion Spaceworthy. Hi, sir. She'll fly. Chief Brooks. Just on my way to my post, sir, in engineering. Remain on the bridge. I would be honored. Can't invite him. Hi, sir. Dr. Chimero, this medical ago. Well, sir, regulation. Sir, medical is a go. Commander Piper, is there any place in particular you'd like to explore? Actually, yes, Commodore. I've been always wanting to investigate a newly discovered anomaly near Gamma Below 3. Kindly transmit the coordinates to Anson Tap. I'd be more than happy to, sir. Lieutenant Olson, inform Starfleet that we have a mountain to climb. Aye, sir. Coordinates received. Sir, the Yardmaster has cleared us for launch. And some tap, take her out. Maneuvering thrusters only. Aye, sir, maneuvering thrusters only. Don't say anything. Just make me look good for choosing you, or you'll find yourself drifting home on a slow freighter. Doors! Believe me, that's the last time I have a commander packet for a commander's You don't think we're in Kansas anymore, too, huh? Hey, is this where you get the screen test? Oh hell, if they can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Cut.